Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss about dimensional analysis. Here, we will cover dimensions of base quantities, dimensions of derived quantities, dimensional formula and equivalent units. So, what are dimensions of base quantities? Actually, there are seven base of fundamental quantities. The first base quantity is mass. Its SI unit is kilogram and there is a spatial symbol which represents its dimension for mass its capital M. Second fundamental quantity is length. Its SI unit is meter and its dimension is capital L. Keep in mind distance, displacement, height and width. These all are also length. So they all have same unit same SI unit meter and same dimension capital L. Next base unit is time. Its dimension is capital T. Fourth fundamental quantity is temperature and its SI unit is Kelvin. Its dimension is capital K and sometimes theta is also used as a dimension of temperature. Next is electric current. Its SI unit is ampere and dimension is capital A. Sixth base unit is amount of substance. Its SI unit is mole and dimension is capital N. Seventh quantity is luminous intensity. Its SI unit is candela and dimension is capital J. Most used dimensions are these four. Next is dimensional formula. Dimension of other derived physical quantity can be found using dimensions of base quantity. So for example, velocity is a derived quantity. We can find dimension of velocity using dimensions of base quantity. So for that, we will use the formula of velocity that is displacement over time. So d over t, I told you displacement is a length. So we will use dimension of length here. L. T is the time. So it's capital T here. So when T uh, go on the top, it power would be negative here, LT minus 1. This LT minus 1 is the dimension of velocity here. If you enclose this dimension by square brackets, then this would become the dimensional formula of velocity. Let's find dimension of acceleration. So for that we will use formula of acceleration that is V over T. It's best that you use the simplest formula like for acceleration simplest formula is v over t so for v you know lt minus 1 is the dimension of velocity and this divided by time that is capital t so if this t would go on top minus 1 and one more minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 t would go on top so t raised to the power minus 1 so it will become lt minus 2 so this is the dimensional formula of acceleration let's find dimension of force so for force we will use a formula mass time acceleration. Here you can see mass is a base quantity but A is not a base quantity. So we need to break A into base quantities. For that we will use formula of A that is V over T. And then again time is the base quantity, V is not a base quantity. Then we need to break V again. So V equals D over T. So now all are the base quantities so we don't need to break it again. Just summarize the things m d over t square. So now plug in all the dimensions here. For mass it's capital M, for d it's L and for t it's capital T square. Now t will go on the top so it will become m l t minus 2. Power would be negative. And when we enclose this with the square bracket it will become the dimensional formula of force. Here you know the unit of force is Newton and if you use this formula then it will give you for mass it's kg and for acceleration, unit of acceleration is meter per second. This is also the unit of force. So we got Newton and kilogram meter per second square. Both are unit of force. So these units are called as equivalent units. Thus Newton is equivalent to kilogram meter per second square. Let's find dimension of work here. Formula for work is force time distance. If you remember the dimensional formula of force like we know from the back page that dimensional formula of MLT minus 2. So you can plug in directly from here and for D it's L. 
So we can get m l square t minus 2. But if you don't know, in that case, we need to plug in. For force, it's m a. For d, it's a base quantity. So keep it just like that. And for m is a base quantity. For a, that is v over t. Then you can break v again. So it will become d over t. So we got it m d square over t square. So we got it m. For d, we will write here l raised to the power 2. For t, capital T. That's also raised to the power 2. But when t will go on top, the power would be negative. And when you close it by square bracket, it will become the dimensional formula of work. So let's find the equivalent units of work here. You know, SI unit of work is joule. And from this formula, you can find unit of force is Newton. And for distance, it's meter. So this is the another unit of work. And then we can also find from this formula a unit that is for m it's kg, d is unit of distance is meter square. So for t, uh, unit is second, so it will become second square. So you can see we found three units. These all are equivalent units. Joule is equivalent to Newton meter, also equivalent to kilogram meter square per second square. These all units are equal or equivalent to each other. Let's find dimension of power here. So formula of power is work over time. Formula of work is force time distance. Now break force again. That is M A. We have to break the things until we get all the base quantities. So again A is not a base quantity. Break A again here. And that will give us. Then we will break B again. So it will become D over T. So again it will become M D square t cube. So now we will put the dimensions here finally. That is m l square and for t it's t capital T t cube. t will go on the top. So it will become m l square t minus 3. This is the dimension of power. So let's check the equivalence units here. You know as a unit of power is watt and also from this formula unit of work is joule and unit of time is second. Another SI unit of power. This formula. From this, for mass, SI unit is kg. For d, it's meter. So, meter square. For t, it's second. So, it will be second cube. So, we got three units of power. Watt is equivalent to joule per second. And also equivalent to kilogram meter square per second cube. Here is the question of the day. Solve it to see if you get right answers. Answers are given below in the description box. If you have any question on this topic, please ask your question in the comment box given below. Thank you.